Passaggio. 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 That's right, it's the Zondervan Passaggio setting in the New American Standard, and Zondervan hopes that you will enjoy the Passaggio setting and that you agree with them that this setting is successful in making a clear and beautiful transition between single and double column settings. I'm Scott Shirley, and this is a review of the NASB Heritage Bible Passaggio setting in blue, genuine buffalo leather. Stay tuned for the review. I want to go over examination, and then I'll do my evaluation. I'm going to start with the facts. This is the New American Standard Bible, Heritage Bible, Passaggio setting. Passaggio means passage between vocal registers in music whenever someone's singing. This is the blue, genuine buffalo leather. It's not top grain. So if you were to buy top grain, this would be you know at least $50 to $100 more. At least $50 more if it was top grain. General, uh, the uh, genuine leather means that they have already shaved off the top grain and used it for something else. Then they got a smooth uh, buffalo leather. You know, uh, they got a smooth leather underneath the top grain, and they put an impression on. Okay. Here are some of the features. Um, first thing you might notice is that what's going on right here. I'll, I'll get into that in just a moment. But uh, this is the full text. It doesn't have a bunch of cross references in it. That might sort of inform on how you want to use this Bible. The price is listed as $140 on here, but you can buy it for $95.49 on Christian Book. And sometimes these come down even a little bit more, but um, it's not going to come down into the $70 range. It's not. And I'll get into why, mostly because of the paper on here. It's, it's, it's good paper. The dimensions are eight and a half by 5.34 inches. That's how, um, that's how wide this Bible is or how tall it is. The weight, it says on Christian book that the weight is two pounds, but that is probably not accurate. And the reason I say that is because this Bible, the classic reference is listed as two pounds and three ounces on Christian book. And this definitely weighs more, like 50% more than the classic reference. So it, it's a heavier Bible. Uh, you are getting something that is not cheap, okay? So keep that in mind. Yeah, so we move from the facts to the fashion. We have this clamshell box, and it's one of the pretty clamshell boxes, just like the classic reference has. It looks very similar to it, doesn't it? Um, the uh, brown is sort of a little bit lighter than on the classic reference, where that's a little bit darker. And, uh, and let's see, there's the top of it. Um, here's a good look at the, the uh, side of these two boxes together. All right, same thing there. Here's the bottom. Here's the heritage. And there's the top of it. Here's the back of it one more time, just in case you wanted to get a clear look of it. Look at it. Okay, uh, and it tells us a little bit about Passaggio setting, doesn't it? Uh, it's a shift between the visual beauty and clarity of a highly readable single column text for prose and a clean double column text for poetry. And I would propose to you that it's not just a shift. Uh, the shift is not just um, analogous in... Uh, in the way it shifts from single column to double column. It's also analogous in the way that you can use this as a reading Bible at home or maybe even as a preaching or teaching Bible. The leather cover, just like you've, you've grown accustomed to if you have any of the, the uh, buffalo skin leather covers, it's really appealing, okay? Now, there's something different here. There's a little bit of a sheen on the brown, but this is completely matte finish on the blue. And I tell you what, I like this one. I like this matte flint finish. I like the blue color. Uh, I prefer that uh, to the brown. And uh, it, it also feels thicker. It feels a little bit thicker than this brown does. I don't know why that is the case, but it's, it is. It's a little bit thicker um, on this, this blue one than it is the brown one. 
Now, if I roll it up, what does it look like? Not much going on there. If I roll this one up, you can sort of see the, the impression uh, wrinkles or whatever, but they go away there. The Zondervan, Zonderbuff Genuine Leather, not top grain, but I like it. I do like it. It has the five raised hubs. So make sure you get a good look at that. One, two, three, four, five. I like how the uh, top and bottom are way up high and way low. Uh, very sub subtle, uh, sort of subdued. I mean, it is bold with the Holy Bible, but um, you don't have a lot going on here. It looks almost exactly like the classic reference does. Um, and they, they almost line up exactly in the same spot and maybe wonder, well, did they do it the same just so they could use the same machine to stamp it? Well, the Zondervan is a little bit lower on this blue one. So it's, they, may, they either made adjustments to their machine or uh, I don't know. But anyway, that's the only real difference I can see in the spine. It does have perimeter stitching with a blue thread. So that's, that is attractive, it's appealing. I like it that it does have a synthetic liner. So uh, we're accustomed to that with them. Uh, this With uh, these buffaloes, they do have the synthetic liner, don't they? This brown one has a brown synthetic liner. I like this midnight blue. It's very attractive navy. Um, the gold gilt line looks just looks perfect. And uh, so it, it's very appealing, isn't it? Very appealing. And the, uh, the liner here goes up into the tab uh, or the tab comes over the text block and you slap a, uh, uh, another end sheet on top of that. I do think that uh, this white cardstock page is tipped on to the, the uh, first pages there. But I did notice that the glue line, let me fold this back a little bit so you can see, the glue line is right here. So it does, they do glue it almost halfway up the Bible. I'd say about 40, 45% up this, um, uh, this end page here. I want to take a look at the paper. So we open this beauty up and there it is in all of its glory. Just look at that. Isn't it beautiful? Um, the 36 GSM paper is silky smooth. Whenever you run across, run your fingers across it, it is silky smooth. If you do that with the other one, you feel a difference. So this feels more like, um, this feels more like the thin line paper. Yeah, these two papers feel more similar to me. Uh, this is the, the large print thin line. And uh, so those feel similar, but this paper, on the Passaggio does not feel like that. I'll tell you what it feels like. It feels more like this. That is the Preacher's Bible. And I think this paper is, is I don't know if it's the same exact paper or not, but it is very, very similar. So I like this paper, but listen, um, the 36 GSM doesn't mean that there's no ghosting, okay? This is a, a Bible that's printed in China. Um, look at the color of this of this uh, comfort print. It's bold and it's like a blue color, like a midnight blue. Can you see the difference here? Let me let me see if you can see if you can tell the difference between the black black print of the preacher's Bible and then this midnight blue. You see the midnight blue there of the Passaggio. Okay, uh, I I don't know if it's coming through on the on the uh, video or not, but anyway, there is a difference. There is a difference, but I really like this. It is lovely, 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 lovely. It does, uh, it is Smith's own. It is edge line for flexibility and durability. And if you look in Genesis 1 1, we have overcast stitching in the first signature. So that is a real treat for us to have that overcast stitching right there. That helps to keep the first signature in the Bible without falling out. So that is that is a good feature. That's a nice quality feature that they add there, but they don't have it in the back, just in the front. Gold edge gilding. Take a look at this. I mean, I need to get it up like that. Get you a good look. Okay. All right, you see that? It's a, it's a little bit dull, subdued. 
Um, if I, let's, well, let's just take the other right here. Okay, do you see the luster that is in the brown uh, classic reference? It has more luster there, and this is more dull, okay? I don't know if it's because of the blue under art or not. You compare that with uh, the, the SCR, big difference, big difference. You see the, the mirror effect, I really like that. Okay, this, uh, this genuine leather is not gonna have a, a uh, luster like that. So let me get it for you, yeah. You see that? It just doesn't have the mirror effect um, like, like the SCR does. Blue under art i like it like that blue under art you see that it's not overpowering it uh it's just that gentle blue and it's not outrageous um there's a good look at it let's see yeah there you go it's just just a gentle sky blue and it's not like boom in your face okay so i i do like that the ribbons I, this, this one right here, this top ribbon, and you know, if you watch my other videos, you know, I have a problem with the Zondervan ribbon tuck jobs. So this one was already out whenever it came to me. Um, but I can tell that it is wrinkled. So I think you're going to have that problem. And I can also tell, here, let me take it out. Um, I can also tell that, um, Get on out of here. I can also tell that it had been tucked right here. So I don't know if you can see that or not, but I can tell exactly where the, the Bible ribbon had been tucked, uh, and it was right here. And it's it's got that crease down the middle, and I don't like that crease. Just do it flat, okay? Just do it flat. The other one I have left uh, exactly like it came, this blue one, the blue ribbon is, it's still sitting there exactly like it was. So I'm going to take a look at it now. Open up. There we go. And it is just, it's tucked nicely in there. I don't, I don't see, uh, really much problem with that, except that now it's, let me see if I can undo the fold. Okay, all right. Now I've got to undo the, the uh, it's sort of glued together. You see that? They try to put it in there the right way, but uh, it is sort of glued in. And I'm gonna see if I can tug it and pull it out. Yeah, get out of there. Yeah, that's a little bit better. Yank it out, okay. So maybe over time that'll heal. It does leave a little impression on the paper. That's that's not bad, not bad. Right, here's the title page. Marriages, births, and adoptions. Deaths. And the title page. NASB Heritage Bible, Passaggio setting. And we have another title page, like a publisher's page. And we have the copyright page. This is a first print of 2021 by AMC. That's usually who does their, their Bibles, and this is printed in China. It is a 1995 translation, and you can see right here that the copyright does not extend to 2020 in that, uh, in that little list right there. Have table of contents. This stuff is normal. You're not surprised by any of that alphabetical stuff forward, but this page is different. So let me get you a good look at this. Publisher's Preface. Come in there. Tells you what the term means. Uh, moving on, we have the forward. That's not new. Preface to the New American Standard, principle of translation, all that. None of that's new. Explanation of general format. That's for the New American Standard, not the Bible, not the uh, Passaggio setting. Abbreviations, and then we have the Old Testament page. If you look at the Old Testament page here, 
you can get an idea of the ghosting. And let me show you the New Testament page. Here's the New Testament page. All right, so um, you can definitely see the ghosting in there. Let me show you the New Testament page here. So that's the thin line, large print thin line. You can see the ghosting there. What about the Preacher's Bible? There's the Preacher's Bible. And you can see the ghosting on the Preacher's Bible. And even the SCR. The SCR has really good paper. There is the New Testament page for the SCR. So even it has ghosting as well. With the Passaggio setting, I did notice an oddity. Sometimes... You go from narrative to uh, the po poetic setting, and it's just one little verse here, but they split up the one verse into two columns uh, and then go back to narrative. And the first time I saw that, I thought, well, do I read from left to right? The holy, holy, holy is the, the whole earth. Is no, that doesn't make sense. You got to read uh, just like you would in a normal poetry setting. So if you go over here, you read the whole left side, and then you go to the right side. Uh, so right here, holy, holy, holy is the Lord of hosts. The whole earth is full of his glory. Okay, so that was just a little oddity that happened. And, uh, and I don't think it happens too many times where you, you have only one verse that is uh, poetic right there in the middle of a uh, narrative setting. It has the two-color page design crafted by 2K Denmark with bold midnight blue. You see that bold midnight blue? You can really see it maybe on the chapter numbers. So let me get that up closer to you. All right, can you see the blue there? Get it in the white light. You see the blue? It's hard to tell that it's blue. The box sort of tells you that it's blue or shows you that it's blue. Uh, it's not as blue on the paper as it is on the box. 10 point comfort print. This is a black letter text, but it's a blue letter text though, isn't it? It's a blue letter text. Is, is this a blue letter Bible? No, uh, this is not a red letter Bible or red letter text. This is a, a black, uh, this is technically a black letter text, but it's printed with blue ink, midnight blue ink. Boy, you can, I really like that bold, don't you? I like the, the color scheme, the gold and the blue. I think the gold, um, it, the gold is attractive, but sometimes it's hard to read, especially if there's a little, a little bit of a glare. And this Bible does have a, a little bit of glare on it. This silky paper does tend to have a glare to it. Maybe the gold accents need to be darker or something like that um, but it but with the glare it, it does become difficult to read sometimes now we've come to the end matter we have miracles of jesus parables of jesus perspectives from the bible prayers of the bible Continued on the other side. And then we have the maps, glossy cardstock maps, World of the Patriarchs, Exodus and Conquest of Canaan, Land of Twelve Tribes, Kingdom of David and Solomon, Jesus' Ministry, Paul's Missionary Journeys, and that's two pages. Finally, we have Jerusalem in the Time of Jesus. And then we have the one white cardstock page and the navy blue end page. And there's the ISBN on the inside of the Bible, just in case you try to forget it. But at least it's not on the outside of the Bible, right? There is no dictionary concordance thesaurus in the Passaggio setting. So that's not in there. And that sort of goes with um, just sort of the theme of this Bible. There's no, there, you don't have the cross references in here either. So this is not a study Bible. This is a reading Bible and maybe even a preaching Bible. 
Here's a look at Psalm 23. The Lord is my shepherd. Uh, and then it goes on to the next page here. One other thing I like is whenever you're flipping through your Bible, it's really easy, really, really easy to tell where you are because you have these, um, you have the index up at the top. See that? It's really, I like that. Uh, even though it's perpendicular, um, I really like how they, the, how they have turned that and it just sort of saves space. It gives you all, all the way up to the top of the Bible right there to print your text. And I really like that. It's time for like it, love it, or leave it. Like it. I like the blue genuine leather buffalo skin. It's supple. Uh, I like how it's matte finished rather than the sheen. I like that a little bit better. It's it's more appealing to me. It doesn't it doesn't have a smell. Can you smell that? No, I can't smell that. Um, there's not much to smell here in this Bible. So it's not, you don't have that old factory, oh, you don't just fall in love with it. But uh, it's better than having the manufactured smell. I like it. Uh, I like the paper. Uh, I don't, I don't think it's the fault of the paper that you have the ghosting. I think it's the ink. It's, it's, the, it's actually the ink that makes the ghosting like it is. And because this text is so bold, you're going to have some ghosting. But I, I really like the paper. I like the smooth paper. I like how flat this Bible lays. I mean, I just get it and immediately it lays flat. So I like that. Really like, I love how flat it lays. I love how flat it lays. Love it. I love the large, wide, single column, verse by verse layout here. Most single columns, they're going to be a lot more narrow than this. Uh, some of them, uh, and of course, you have the SCR that has a wide margin over here. And then you have about that much space of actual single column. I like the wide layout of this single column verse by verse text. I love it. And you know what You know what else I love about it? You can use this as a preacher's Bible. So I've been asking Zondervan, hey, are, are you guys going to come out with a single column version of the preacher's Bible? And I wish they still would. Because uh, I'd like to be really thin like this. But this, look how it lays flat. I love how it lays flat. This is a great preacher's Bible. It, one thing that's missing from a preacher's Bible, one thing you need in a preacher's Bible, is whenever there are Old Testament quotations, you need to know where that's from. It doesn't have that. So we need uh, not just cross-references, but quote references. And I think you can. You don't have to put a million, you know, what, 90-something thousand cross-references. You don't have to have that. But you do need to have um, the quote references from the Old Testament. And then if you're back in the Old Testament, you need to tell me where it is in the New Testament. So I love the layout. I, I think the, the blue color is a hit. It's a great color scheme. Uh, not, not so much a hit on the gold, but the blue is a big time hit. Uh, so I love the print layout. Just, I love it. I just love it. I also like the blue under art. And actually, I think I love the blue under art. I love it. It goes with this Bible. It doesn't need to be any darker than it already is. I love it. Um, so put that in the love it column, the paper, the Smithsonian lay flat technology, love it. Love the layout, love it. I can use it as a preacher's Bible, love it. Uh, I can use it in as a long read. Uh, if you want to just sit, if you want to lay in the bed, lay on the couch, whatever it is, and read chapter after chapter after chapter, look how much how much easier it is. You don't have to move your eyes back and forth, back and forth so fast with the narrow columns. So this is this is the um, this is probably. I think this is one of the best Bibles Zondervan has ever put out of the New American Standard. It's definitely a buy. And if you're worried about it, you can buy one of the cheaper editions. Leave it. Here's what I can leave. I can leave this fold over. Uh, it's, it's not the fold over's problem. It's actually, there's no yap on this Bible. Give me some yap. If you had some yap, my paper wouldn't be hitting the fold over and losing its gold and uh, getting some deformation right here in the corner. So lose that. Um, also, uh, also in the leave it is the ribbon tucking. We still need to figure that out, right? So leave that. Don't tuck it right down the middle. That that's not what we want. 
um, leave it. I'm not a big fan of the, the gilding on this Bible. I much prefer the gilding on the uh, classic reference, much prefer the gilding on the SCR. SCR has much more beautiful gilding. And so also does the MacArthur Study Bible. Much more beautiful gilding. I'd rather have that than this. This looks dull to me. Going back to the question that Zondervan posed, were they successful in making a clear and beautiful transition between the single and double column settings? Yes! They were very successful. This was great. This is a great Bible. Uh, this is an everyday carry. It's a little bit heavy for that, to be honest, but it is, it goes everywhere. Uh, it's a passaggio. You can use it here. You can use it there. You can use it in the pulpit. You can use it uh, laying on the couch, laying in the bed, sitting in the recliner. Take it anywhere. This is a beautiful, excellent, well-crafted, well-designed, well-thought-out. Everything is is accomplished. They accomplished everything they set out to do with a Passaggio setting. I love it. I still want the Preacher's Bible, but I love this in the meantime. And it just hits on so many areas, and that's where it... And that's why they designed the Passaggio to hit in a bunch of different areas. Uh, so it's not just that uh, it shifts between narrative and poetry. It also shifts between uh, the Sunday school class and the pulpit and the pew and the rocking chair and the couch and the bed. It's a use it everywhere kind of Bible and you won't be sorry that you got it. Thank you for watching. I hope you have a great day. God bless you, and it's a great day to love the New American Standard.